Hello and welcome to Droix. Today we are comparing the GPD WinMax 2020 version with the 2021 i7-1195G7 model. We will be running some system and gaming benchmarks to see the difference in performance between the two and answering is it worth upgrading if you have the 2020 model. Let's first take a very brief look at the technical specifications of both models. The WinMax 2020 has the Intel 10th Gen i5 1035G7 with a max speed of 3.7 GHz. The WinMax 2021 has the 11th Gen i7 1195G7 running up to 5 GHz. The WinMax 21 features the newer Intel Iris XE graphics which runs at 1.4 GHz. Both models have 16 gigs of LPDDR4X RAM, but the 21 version is faster at 4266 MHz, which is a 13% increase in speed. A quick note that you can purchase the GPD WinMax 21 from Asset Droics, shipped from the UK with a two-year warranty and excellent customer service. Visit droics.co.uk and order yours today. We start the benchmarks with Passmark, which stress tests the CPU, GPU, RAM and storage to its maximum. The GPD WinMax 2020 scores a respectable 3258, with average CPU and RAM scores, below average scores for the GPU and above average for storage. The GPD WinMax 2021 scores 3703, with above average CPU, RAM and storage scores. This gives us a score difference of around 12.7%, which is a reasonable jump in performance between processor generations. PCMark tests day-to-day -day tasks ranging from web browsing, media consumption and working with large office documents. The WinMax 2020 scores 4101, with good scores across the tests. The WinMax 2021 scores a far higher 5503, with considerably higher scores across the tests. That's a score difference of 29.1%, which is a very large difference. Using both devices side by side, you would notice faster software opening, faster data processing and media rendering for example. 3D Mark tests the CPU and GPU performance over a series of tests to indicate how well they work together. The Max 20 scores 900, which is around average for this specification. The Max 21 scores 1409. Despite there being an issue with the Intel drivers and 3D Mark, it still scores far higher. This gives us a score difference of 44%, which is a massive gap. Here we can see the higher CPU speed and faster GPU making a big difference. The GPD WinMax 2020 does have some issues running at 1920x1080 resolution on some games. So to be fair, we run both devices at 720p. Incidentally, the WinMax 21 had no such issues. For this test, we are running at 720p with the default Ultra Graphics settings. The WinMax 2020 scores an average 19 FPS with a low of 17 and a high of 25. The WinMax 2021 scores an average of 43 FPS with a low of 37 and a high of 60 FPS, which is the target FPS. This gives us a score difference of a massive 77.4%, which is quite a gap. With Street Fighter V, uh, this is one of the games we was having issues running at 1080p, so we are running both at 720. The Max 2020 scored an average of 52 FPS at the end of the match. 
the Max 2021 scored an average of 60 FPS at the end of the match. We were limited by the refresh rate at 720p. At 1080p it gets 50 FPS so you can see the difference. Either way it is still a good difference in performance with the GBD WinMax 2020 being at least 15% slower in performance. Our final benchmark is for Final Fantasy XIV. Again, the Max 2020 did not like running at 1080p, so we have switched to 720p with maximum graphic settings. The Max 2020 scores a respectable 3841 with a slightly low rating. The Max 2021 scores a vastly higher 7,273 with a fairly high rating level. This gives us a score difference of 61.7% which is again a very large difference. Time to sum everything up now and compare the benchmark results. Passmark saw a 12.7 increase, PC mark at 29.1%, 3D marks saw a big jump with 44% and for games performance is where the largest jumps in performance are seen. Balls in Horizon 4 at 77.4%, Street Fighter with 15 but not forgetting this test was limited and Final Fantasy 14 had a 61.7 score difference. So we can see from the results that for day-to-day -day general tasks such as web browsing, consuming media and so on that you would see some differences in speed if you had them running side by side. It is when we get to the gaming performance that there is a considerable difference in speed. To be honest I was expecting an increase in performance but not such a large difference. The difference in performance between the 10th gen i5 and 11th gen i7 is enough to definitely consider upgrading if gaming is your main use for the GPD WinMax. It makes it possible that recent games that would struggle on the Max 2020 are now playable on the Max 2021. That wraps up this comparison of the GPD WinMax models. We hope you found it useful in deciding to upgrade if you have the older model. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already as it really helps to grow the channel. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you back in the next video.